Capricorn, what's going on, baby? What's up? It's Scorpion Red Seven. I am back at it again. One time, one time, one time, one time for the remix, just to let you know what is going on for the month of June 2019. Yes, baby. What's going on with your Capricorn? Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you everyone for clicking this video. I got an awesome announcement for you guys. There was a live where I announced a new deck, okay? The deck that was given to us by one of our lovely, lovely collector gatherers. That's what I call my group here. We are collector gatherers around here, honey. Yes, okay? So, this deck was sent to us by one of our fellow collector gatherers through the Amazon wish list. And that video has been blocked and I realized I don't think that I can use this deck on YouTube because it is way too sexually explicit. So I created a Patreon. I'm going to show y'all very quickly what the deck looks like without kind of showing too much of the graphic vulgar stuff here. So just got this deck. Shout out to my baby who sent us this deck you know what i'm saying because this is for us boo so what we're going to do i created a patreon which of course is scorpion reds tarot um the link is in my about tab give me about a week i'm working on getting my patreon together so we're going to have a membership club going on a collective gatherers membership club we are going to have two tiers there's going to be a 199 tier and a 499 tier the 199 tier is when you get to come in and you get to hear my you know behind the scene blogs about whatever it is i want to talk about and discuss we'll be having live calling chats um on the 199 tier and then of course we're going to have live readings okay so once you become a member to the scorpion reds collectors gatherers membership club um with that 199 uh or 499 monthly fee instead of you guys paying the full amount of money for a personal or private reading you can be able to get quick readings with this membership when I do the lives, okay? Because those will not be on YouTube anymore. Those will only be on Patreon, and you can join in and be a member. Now, the $4.99 tier is the tier where it's like adult-only explicit content. So we will be using the Tarot Decks of Sexual Magic, that new deck that... Um, oh, Lord, I just forgot the name of it that quick. But y'all just seen the deck that I just had. Um, I got a lot. I got a brand new Oracle deck that's coming in. We got a lot of stuff going on. And also, um, I'm going to be taking live calls from you guys where we can have conversations, discuss what's going on, any topics that you guys want to discuss about sex, love, and relationship. It's going to be a lot of wonderful stuff going on. And um, again, if there is anyone who is familiar with Patreon who can help get me all set up, because I think I'm set up, but I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm still trying to figure it out. That's why I say y'all give me a week to get it all locked and loaded and stuff like that. Once I get locked and loaded, I will be coming to y'all through Patreon just to let y'all know. Look, we on Patreon. We going on tonight. I'm going to have my conference chat line so I can talk and speak to you guys. It's going to be lovely. It's really, 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 really going to be lovely. So, um, thank you guys so much for all of the support that you guys, you know, give. Because of that, it made me push it to the next level of let's have call-ins. Let's do chats. Let's do, you know what I'm saying? So, we pushing it to the next level. And I will see you guys over at Patreon. So, I just wanted to announce that to you guys. Let's get into the regular announcements. Number one, um, if there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with scorpion red several you know all you got to do is click that about tab baby click that about tab you're going to book and then link up with me okay so click that hyperlink that says scorpion red several at simply book me again that is located in the about tab all right and then you will also see that my link for my instagram is directly under that so first thing you need to do is book with me again click that link that says scorpion red several at simply book with me set um, select the reading that you want and then double back and click that link for my Instagram and send me a personal private me uh, uh, 
Send me a personal or private message so we can have the reading there. We can do the video chat there. If you don't have an Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram, you can use my email, which is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Um, ah, Lord, I cannot speak. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, excuse me. If you do not have an Instagram, you can use my email, which is ScorpionReds at gmail.com. You can download an app called Google Hangouts. You can use my email again, which is ScorpionReds at gmail.com, and you can send me a message, and we will connect on Google Hangouts for the video chat. If you do not want to get on camera and only want to send me your question and have it directly uploaded to add the uh, um, YouTube have the video directly uploaded to YouTube and have me send you a link to add the Google Hangouts or Instagram of your reading. You can purchase an add on, all right? So, in the menu, when you're purchasing your reading, you can select the add on. That add on, which is called a video recap slash direct upload, you can use that to record the whole video reading. So, for the ones that are actually doing the video chat readings with me, you can purchase that ten dollar add on, and I can record the whole experience for you. I'll do a private upload to YouTube, and I'll send you the link of our reading. Okay. And or like I said, if you don't want to get on camera and you just want to send me your question, only send me your question, you guys. Don't tell me the information surrounding why you're asking the question. Just send me the question and send me your information either on um, Google Hangouts or Instagram. I'm going to record the video and then I'm going to send it back there and we're good to go. If anyone wants to send more love and light to the page <clears throat> and support to the page. And again, thank you guys so much. If it wasn't for you guys, this wasn't wouldn't be here. All of these decks wouldn't be here. I'm serious. Like, thank you guys so much for the love and support and just for even clicking this video. If y'all want to send love and support, if these video resonates for you and you want to send a love offering, um, you can click the PayPal link and or the Amazon wish list. They're all in the description and they're in the about tab. And again, shout out to my girl Callie. She got us that Game of Thrones deck. Shout out to everyone who sent a dollar to through PayPal. Y'all made these tea leaf um fortune cards. Um uh, possible and literally all of these decks that you see here possible when I first started doing this I didn't have none of this and it's because of your love and support and you guys clicking these videos and just showing me so much love that we have everything that we have today and I thank you so 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 much for it let's get into our reading thank you God so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn Capricorn, you already know what's going on. Thank you so much, Father God, for touching us, for shedding your love and light through us, Father God, for being able to walk through us, to be able to show other people how you're walking through our life and how much changes you're making in our life and how much day by day, step by step, we are growing and we are showing the world what a true miracle looks like, Father God, because I'm trying to tell you that like, we're reaching deep inside and battling with certain stuff that a lot of people wouldn't be strong enough to really deal and handle and you know a lot of people everybody got their own story everyone has their own story and nobody is perfect but the difference is some people are not strong enough to really deal with the things that they need to deal with to create a better version of you you know what i'm saying and that's what capricorn is doing and we're really digging in deep father god and we just thank you so much for just giving us the strength to be able to you know turn around you know certain things that was just upside down in our life and we just thank you so much for showing us growth showing us strength just being a testimony for other people by showing them your work through us we thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn for the month of June. And just thank you so much for all of the messages and the blessings that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance. All right. Give me guidance for my Capricorn for June. Forgiveness. Time out. Forgiveness. Time out. I'm not taking that though. <laughs> I gotta take it. And it's still right there at the bottom of the deck. I gotta take it. I just heard I gotta take it. Alright, so it was like this. So it looks like there's somebody that why do I feel like we had this reading? I feel like I've seen these cards. I've seen it's just like this, but it doesn't matter. 
there's somebody that you're dealing with that you don't forgive them um, for something that you you have an understanding about the way that you feel about a certain somebody and you don't forgive them for their actions and you're making it very verbally clear you're straight like that like you putting this whole situation on timeout and you know with that sacral chakra right there it's like to you know what you got to do and you are being very action oriented right now you are being action oriented about what you know you got to do and what you got to understand about that crown chakra you understand exactly what you need to do and you know you've been going through a lot of healing in regards to dealing with a lot of personal losses and grief and you know you are doing what you need to do and you saying what you need to say and you're walking in your walk and you standing firm in that and it's something going on right now where you most definitely don't forgive if something that was done that was unforgivable to my capricorns What's going on with my Capricorns? Capricorn, what's going on with my Caps? What's going on with my Cappies? My Cancer Moon say, I love he call y'all Cappies. What is going on? Shout out to Cancer Moon Tarot. Getting over that heartbreak. Come on, Caps. Oh, you said you ain't working on the mother sucking thing. You're not going to do it. I'm not doing anything that's going to make me look bad. The devil. There you go. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. The star. You're like, no. This shit is fucking with me. And I got to focus on my self-worth. And I can't be in my true star potential if I keep... Allowing you to have your grips and, and having me bound to this situation. This situation makes me look bad. I'm not willing to put any work in on this anymore. It's messing up my reputation. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, no, I'm taking the swords out of my heart. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're moving slow, but you're definitely moving towards something that's more long lasting, something more giving, something more inviting. Yeah, you're trying to figure a way, you're making a plan. You making a plan, uh huh? And I feel like you making a plan. You trying to figure out how to get out of a situation before you get caught. Um, get caught up in some bullshit. And I feel like you're literally like you're planning. You're making slow movements in regards to you progressing forward because someone had you in a third party situation that you absolutely do not forgive these motherfuckers for and you're very verbally clear about this shit and you put that situation on timeout. Y'all not even with each other no more. You completely, look, I'm done with it. You see what I'm saying? This is something that you thought about over and over and over and over again. And you are literally pulling the swords out of your heart at this time, okay? You are pulling the swords out of your heart and it's like you almost about to put a band-aid over it. I don't even feel like your heart is bleeding anymore. But it's still something that you have to think about because this person is still bothering you and it's pestering you. And I feel like this person literally has their grips on you and they don't want to let you go. I feel like you might have ruined your reputation by dealing with this person. You don't want to work with this person anymore. This thing doesn't have any value. Um, I feel like everything that this situation with this person produced, it was like counterfeit product you know everything was fake like this person came to you like they was giving you gucci prada fendi hermes and shit like that and that was like some love straight off of canal street like this person really didn't put any effort of really trying to produce fine quality product they kind of like lured you in with some counterfeit ass bullshit and then got you locked up and tangled in a toxic ass situation and it's still a very much a toxic situation that's looming over you right now and you know i feel like this is something mentally that you know very well um that you're you're slowly but surely you're pulling yourself up out of it i feel like for whatever reason 
you're not allowing this person to play with your heart no more for sure because I highly feel like someone's reputation has been ruined in the eyes of many and you're going to have to completely release yourself from dealing with this person in order to change the way people look at you at this point because the way people look at you is you don't really recognize the true star potential that you have and this true star that you are and how beautiful you are like this is someone that don't have no faith in itself, you know? And it's like you'll rather entangle yourself with something and somebody that you know is pure evil, you know what I'm saying? And toxic and just absolutely ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? It's just someone behaving in a lifestyle and doing things that they know is putting a bad light on them and it's almost like someone that walks around like they don't kind of and I don't want to say that but I, I, I did just hear that the, you don't care if you live or die today or tomorrow it's just like you living for today um yeah I, I don't, I don't want to say that, but it's like, I, like you, you don't believe in God, like that. I mean, not saying that there's no God, but this is someone that they feel like life has been so down or so hard on them, and they just don't have no faith. You know what I'm saying? Like they just don't have any faith, and just like. Life has had them by their coattail for so long and they don't really know anything other than that, you know? But at the same time, it's like... This person wants better. Because if you didn't want better, you wouldn't be getting over this. You wouldn't... You wouldn't... This, this is what... This is the thing that makes you lower yourself and belittle yourself and do things that you know devalues your worth. It's love. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all just fall in love for the wrong motherfuckers. That's it. Y'all fall in love with the wrong motherfuckers. But I feel like whatever happened this time, it is unfor fucking give. It's unfor it's unforgivable. And you gotta put this person on time out. And this time you're being vocal and you're fucking serious about it. And when I say you're serious about it, you're serious about it. Because this shit was embarrassing. Mm -mm. Just give me all of you for exchange for me. That's what he was saying. Give me all of you for an exchange for me. Sometimes people need to be careful of what they giving themselves to. He is saying, give me to this couple, give me all of you for exchange for me. You see what I'm saying? And it was a very, 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 very toxic ass relationship. An extremely toxic relationship. Spiritually, just spiritually low vibing people. People that didn't have any faith, didn't have anything that they believed in, didn't know their worth, didn't, you know what I'm saying? Didn't know their true value, but this Capricorn here, they're like, I'm not giving you all this shit. I'm moving forward, you know what I'm saying? This Capricorn done got on their horse, because they, they know this game right here. They done seen it before. And they don't forgive this person. And I feel like a lot of a lot of it is them not forgiving themselves for thinking that they can play with people like that and think that they will come out a winner or a victor in this situation. They had to put a lot of people in a lot of things that, that still had a grip on them mentally. And a lot of things that they were still physically doing. And the devil's still trying to grab them. It's still just the, the devil's still on their back and it's still trying to lure them in. But Capricorn is like, I'm moving far away. I'm that close 
to the new beginnings in my life. I'm working hard on myself. This Capricorn might be going to AA. This this Capricorn might be in the church trying to, you know, get savior from, you know, um, spirit being spiritually grounded. This person might be building a new house and they don't move somewhere where they're getting help and people trying to help them create a new stable environment somewhere where they can actually have you know stable work and just you know a steady foundation base of people that just love and care about them is going to make sure that they're on the right track you see what i'm saying but the only thing about it is just that i feel you are trying to weasel your way away from this band of circus of people that you see what I'm saying? Like this band of circus of people that you used to partying with, like the low lives, like the, the hanging with the low lives. You see what I'm saying? I feel like you trying to sneak away from hanging hanging around the, the low lives, but I feel like you almost feel like you're gonna get caught because this is like a gang almost. It's like you don't like once you once you commit yourself to this, you see what I'm saying? You don't, you don't, you don't get to just find yourself. Oh no, I found faith now. I found myself. I found myself worth and shit. I don't want to do this, 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 this dumb shit no more. I don't want to do the thug shit no more. They're like, oh no, 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 motherfucker. Where the fuck you think you going? You think you going somewhere? No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like Capricorn is literally trying to take whatever they can salvage from that old lifestyle that they got left instead of really leaving all that shit behind but they're trying to take whatever they can take and kind of like sneak out the door type of thing like that and and or that might be somebody that capricorn whoever it is is going to get caught you see what i'm saying so i feel like i feel like you're trying to get away from this person that broke your heart from this person that depreciated your value you feel bound and you feel trapped by this person you guys could for some reason you feel you feel bound to this person like regardless if i try to get away like i can't get away like this person is not going to let me get away like that's the feeling that i'm getting but it's like no matter how long it takes you are planning and plotting and you are strategizing and you are going to find out and even if you got to get help from other resources, you're going to find out a way to get away from this den of bandits. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person did something that you don't forget. But what you got to understand, there is never any honor amongst thieves. Like, what did you think was going to happen? You think you see how this people tortures and, 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 and demeans and manipulates and hurts other people. Did you think that this person was going to treat you any different? No. You're in a bandit. You're in, you're 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 in a band of bandits. You're in a band of thieves. You know, so it's like you're just trying to find a better way in life right now. You're trying to find a better way in life. You're trying to get away from this band of thieves because they must have stole or did something. Somebody did something to you, and you trusted this person, and they manipulated you. They lied to you. They abandoned you. And I'm hearing the word traitor. It's like you're a traitor. Prosperity. I feel like there was a lack of prosperity due to the situation. It says a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. I feel like someone stole your money. This person stole your money. And you don't forgive this motherfucker. That's why I said you trying to get, you trying to, and this could even be you going to a bank and trying to like save your money in a bank or some shit like that. And, and, and like, I thought you, you think you thought you was hiding some money in a bank and it was like, you were planning with other people about how to try to hide your money or some shit. And this motherfucker could have came and stole your money, but they got caught, you know, it's like, you try to get away with like, listen, you got that pinnacle and you went and you hid it away in a bank. You see what I'm saying? And this and this and, and, and I'm trying to tell you there's no honor amongst these. I do feel like someone because I'm just like, what did this person do that you just you just like you don't forgive this person? 
And I feel like almost like this person that stole this shit from you, they seen you saving. They seen you trying to reach for this prosperity. They seen you trying to reach for this prosperity and this abundance and this new life. And they see that you are trying to change your life around and recognizing that you are a star, recognizing your self-worth. And they see that you trying to escape out of this band of thieves. You know what I'm saying? And, and this motherfucker like, oh yeah, you think you about to get away? Oh, you said I embarrassed you. I mentally manipulated you. Oh yeah. Oh, you trying to, okay, so let me fuck you on up right on out the door. All of that money and all that shit you've been working and you've been saving on, I seen that shit. I seen that shit. Guess what, bitch? I'm going to take that shit too. Hmm. Think you the motherfucking star. You ain't shit. You ain't no motherfucking star. Don't come over here talking about, oh, my faith and, uh, you know, I believe in Jesus. Fuck Jesus. Like, that's this motherfucker. Listen to me. Listen to me. This motherfucker said you're not going nowhere. Where the fuck you going thinking you working on yourself? Hmm. I'll make that shit so goddamn, I'll make that shit so goddamn impossible for you to reach that goddamn pinnacle. You going to want to run back to me. You gonna wanna run back to me. You know what I'm saying? And then also, I don't know, like, I don't know if there's like somebody that I feel like there might be someone that they trying to convince someone. No, this wasn't in the reverse. I feel like this person might be trying to convince a Capricorn also. I feel like someone also might be trying to go and convince a Capricorn or maybe a Capricorn is trying to convince somebody else that they know that they have some type of control over mentally to go with them and someone else on a caper and steal some money. And they trying to like boost this person up like, no, you the star, you the star, like you the only one that can reach this money because of how small you are, whatever, whatever. Yeah, because you look like you innocent and all of this shit like that. Yeah, yeah, because you look like you innocent out there, but motherfuckers really don't know you not as innocent as you seem and shit like that. But you gonna come off real innocent and pure and shit like that. But what I want you to do is go on in there and shit like that because you the only one that's tall enough or whatever that can really reach that high to get that motherfucking, yeah. So what I want you to do, look, what I want you to do, look, look at these motherfuckers plotting and shit like that. I don't know, it's like to steal or to do something. It's like these motherfuckers making a plan and steal or do something, but it's like you do, you gonna end up getting caught though. You gonna end up caught though, and I feel like, or, or you got caught. And I feel like you finally maybe mentally getting over the heartbreak about this shit. And I feel like this shit fucked your reputation up. Because maybe you're known now as a thief. And I feel like you're trying to get away from this lifestyle. You're trying to get away from people looking at you like that. Because I feel like a lot of people don't forgive you for you getting locked up or you getting caught or involved with these people and I feel like a lot of people might have put a Capricorn on timeout or something you know what I'm saying like yeah because it's like I feel like somebody I feel like there was a robbery it was a robbery someone didn't know they were someone was being easily led and guided by someone that didn't mean them any well and i don't think that they put their self out there like that they made you and someone else put yourself out there like that and when shit hit the fan and stuff like that and you get caught they gonna leave your ass and i feel like you're not going to forgive them and whole time you the one sitting over there in time out all behind trying to reach this prosperity and again it says a gift of money is on its way your income is increasing manage your finances with love but this is a lack of prosperity this this has something to, to do with that mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. no i want to go to the game of thrones deck no because i need to find out what's going on with this please clarify this just this please clarify this for capricorn please please clarify this please
Yeah, the page of swords. Some truth is going to come out. Like there's, like there is going to be. Give me guidance. Clarify this page of swords. Somebody is going to find out about this. Well, someone found out about this stolen money. And they feel like they're going. A page of cups. And an ace of swords. I feel like this might end up. Give me guidance. I feel like whatever it is, someone's going to find out about what, about what happened. Someone is going to find out about what happened, about this, this lick. Some, someone did something that was very bad. They were convinced to do something that was very bad, that made them look bad, like I said. Um, and I feel like someone kind of took their innocence and used it. As bait in some type of scam and scheme to steal something. This information is going to come out. Okay, I don't know. Like I feel like there's like a a group of people that are texting uh, because someone wants to know where the fuck their money went. You know what I'm saying? Someone wants to know. What the fuck is going on? And they're literally looking with a a, 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 a level of fury. Where it's like when I find out who stole my shit, I'm going to fuck them up. You see what I'm saying? And the person that they find out that stole this from them is someone that I believe that they loved. And once they find this out, it's just like, I feel like off rip, they coming like this, trying like, who the fuck stole my shit? Or what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like on some Unsullied type of shit. I think this is the, that's not the Unsullied. Who the fuck is them people? That's them, um, them people adorn or something, right? So it's like, you come off ready to ready to, to, to crack some crack some shit off right but once you find out who it is i feel like you're so heartbroken once you get this message of who you find out it is that is like literally it breaks your heart so bad that it like all of the love and everything that you felt inside for this person is literally like pouring out because it's like this can't be true. Like, y'all are lying to me. I don't believe. You're not telling me that the person that got caught thinking that they were trying to get away and try, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person that was plotting and that was planning to steal from me, to deceive me, to hurt me, to dishonor me. You're not telling me that the person that was planning on me and that got caught. You know, look, look, look. Trying to take my money. And I feel like this person took a long time. They took, listen, it was three motherfuckers. And they took a long time with the big boss. They sent them two on the lick. Okay? There were two people on the floor and there was one person in the control room. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Hmm. Evidence already happened. And this person is, 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 I feel like, I don't know if this person is coming out of jail or something like that. Or, I don't, let me keep going anyway. But it's just like, when whoever finds out who this person is, I feel like all of the love, everything that they felt for this person is just got pouring out. And they don't want to believe it. It's like, People are trying to give them the truth, but they just, it's like they're in denial. They don't want to believe it. And they go, that star again. They're like, no, this is the star. Like, 
this person loves me. This person is a good person. This person is honorable. This person has integrity. Integrity. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a good person. Like this person wouldn't do that. And they go. They go to sun. But there's something that's illuminated to them. There's something that is illuminated to them so bright that they could see, and literally a burst a ball of fly fire that only a dragon could create because it looks like the, the dragon is either calling to the sun or something the hierophant This is like, I feel like this is something that's being illuminated about this star, this innocent star. People look at this person like they're innocent, but something is coming out. Something is being illuminated about this person where they're being morally judged, morally judged for something I feel like was fucked up that they did that kind of like broke moral moral laws you understand what I'm saying because this is someone that everyone looked like was a good person this person has faith this person has integ integrity this person is smart this person won't harm a fly but oh no 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 I told you this motherfucker came up there and said yeah everyone looks at you like you this nice innocent motherfucker they, you're the last person that they would see trying to steal something and that's why I feel like you're the key part to this plan. But you're going to get caught. And this motherfucker knows you're going to get caught. Yeah. A hierophant. I feel like something is getting illuminated. And I want to say like the dragon screamed on you. Like the head dragon is the one that screamed. Do you see how it looks like the dragon is screaming to the sun? That is what is literally illuminating everything to everyone. I feel like the dragon called out the sun or something like that. So that the hyperfit could see you as immoral or something like that. And I feel like this person thinks this shit is funny. Like this person thinks that this shit is funny. And I'm sorry, but this is, like, what I'm getting. Like, I feel like, like, this person feels like this shit is funny because at the end of the day, they got away with the shit. They ended up with the money or whatever the fuck they ended up with. You got caught. You were the one that, you know, look at the way the Hierophant is looking. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're being morally judged. Six of Cups, like, yeah. You're being morally judged, like, I want to say, from some shit that you did from when you were a child. I don't know, like, maybe this person might be your sibling or, uh, or family member or something that you went on a liquid or something. And I feel like it fucked your reputation up. And I feel like this shit broke your heart because... I feel like it was like malicious like it was like malicious like this person put you up to it because you were sweet and innocent I feel like this person was jealous of you because you were sweet and innocent this is like a family member or something like this this is like your brother or you know what I'm saying something like that like an older cousin or something I feel like this person was jealous of you because you were the star of the family you understand what I'm saying and I feel like you're still the star of the family you know what I'm saying? You're still the star. Because everyone still looks at you as the star. But yeah, you, 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 you moved away from this person. And you see how typically in the other Six of Swords um, cards and other decks, the swords are in the boat with them as they're moving. It's like they're taking their thoughts about whatever they're leaving. They're taking their thoughts with them. This Capricorn is not taking the thoughts of this shit. You see what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't forgive you. I'm leaving all of that shit in the past. I feel like this is someone 
that got caught that got caught doing some shit I feel like it fucked up their prosperity it fucked up their reputation I feel like the person that they were doing this shit with that put them up to it is the one that set them up and is the one that squealed on them and illuminated everything to everyone just to make you look bad I feel like you moved away from this person, this environment. I don't know, like you might have just recently got out of jail or like, or maybe just, just getting away from, from people in situations that you know are just fucked up. Like it just fucked up. You don't forgive these people and you timed this whole, you timed everyone out. And I really do feel like y'all moved, like y'all moved and move to a whole new city. And I feel like you're not heartbroken about this shit no more. I feel like for a long time, I feel like this shit really disturbed you, Capricorn, because it really fucked up your reputation. And I feel like this is almost to the point where this, whoever this is, whoever these people are, whoever these other two people are that are like still trying to have a grip or a hold on you. This could be a gang, you know what I'm saying? Or something. This could be something. But I really do feel like these people are not just easily just trying to let you go. And maybe because you were you were trying to you were planning to get away from from this shit. That's, I feel like that's why they set you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they set you up. I, I feel like that. Give me guidance around this situation because this is some deep ass shit right here. Because this don't have nothing to do with no love. I feel like this is someone being heartbroken because they felt like this was someone that was their friend. Like, but why would you trust in the devil? But the Capricorn card is the devil card. You know what I'm saying? So that's like saying, like, why would you not trust yourself? But it's just like, not all Capricorns are bad people. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I feel like you and whoever this other Capricorn was that y'all got along a lot because y'all understand each other because y'all both Capricorns. Y'all understand the good, bad, and the ugly. And like... I don't know. Triumph. Right now, y'all are taking triumph. Like, y'all are taking back y'all's authority. And I feel like right now, spiritually, y'all feel uplifted. Y'all have withdrawn y'allself from a lot of fucking people. And y'all are moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Y'all completely understand and gain the wisdom that you needed to from that experiment in your life. And that experience in your life. Um, you analyzed it. You learned what you needed to learn. That's why I feel like you're able to kind of let that go and you're not. You don't think about how much it kind of hurt your heart that these people did this shit to you. Especially because I feel like this was a family member. Or these were people that you knew from your past. Yeah, you 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 got over the conflict and defeat about that situation. And I really do feel like you might be verbally telling these people like, y'all motherfuckers, y'all don't have no power over me no more. I'm being triumphant. And you can't stop me in my grow forward recognition and reward i'm grounded and i'm spiritually being recognized in reward for everything that i've done i've served my time i feel like it's like listen my time is out i serve my time okay my time is out it's time for me to come out you know what i'm saying time out for all of that fuck shit i don't forgive all of this shit that y'all motherfuckers got me in i don't want to talk to y'all Solar plexus in the, listen, uh, <laughs> solar plexus chakra in the reverse. This is someone that realizes, listen, you got to know exactly what it is, what your purpose is in life and where you want to go and what you want to do. I feel like this Capricorn is triumphant, is moving forward, and is moving ahead. They're not accepting defeat. They're not accepting. What is this saying? They're not. They're over the conflict, and they're not accepting defeat. 
You know, that is something that they're able to verbalize at this point. And they're grounded and they're getting a the recognition and reward spiritually. But at the same time, I feel like they don't really know what they're going to do in life, where their life is headed, where they want. They're moving, but they don't know where they're moving to. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know what to do. And I feel like that's the only thing right now that is like kind of defeating Capricorn is because it's just like, yeah, the light. It's just like, I feel like they don't see the light in regards to where their life is headed right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing. It's like, they're triumphant. They're moving forward. They're withdrawing themselves from shit that they don't need to. You know what I'm saying? Because they know all of that shit in the past is just fucking them up in regards to their prosperity and their abundance. And it's like, they want happiness they want to feel free they want joy in their life you know what i'm saying they don't want to be in an area where everyone looks at them as a thief as a robber still a killer as a gang banger or whatever the fuck this this shit was but it definitely was some low vibe ass shit and i really did hear with steven like i was like robbing people or something give me guidance for capricorn and love but it's just like they are moving forward but i just feel like they just don't the light. Oh, calling to your soulmate. Calling your soulmate. Heart to heart conversation. I feel like there's a heart to heart conversation in regards to love that you need to have with yourself that you're not having. Um, the spirit wants you to call in your soulmate and like seriously sit down and write. I want you to write it down. Write down only one what you want in love don't write down but i don't want this i don't want a bitch that cheat i don't want a girl that do this i don't want a man that does that i don't want to hear that okay i want to hear i want to change this i want to change this i want to change that you understand okay Write the things that you want to change. And as you feel like you are being more and more uplifted and you feel those things change, write those things off of that list. And instead, and then write it back but and say, I am. You know what I'm saying? And in regards to where you want your relationship to go, only write exactly what you want to see. So there's two different parts. Is you having a heart to heart conversation about you and what you need to change and recognize that you need to change it and it becoming that so that you can attract it and then also writing down and recognizing what your soulmate actually looks like and only write down what the beauty of that relationship looks like. Changes and future. Religious factors. I feel like you guys might have been uh, in a lifestyle of doing something where it might have been against the traditional norm. Some of you possibly. And I feel like, you know, a lot of it was just like very like playeristic type of, you know, behavior, you know, um, wasn't committal to say the least and i want to say that i feel like a lot of you guys need to have a heart to heart conversation with you about that because i feel like maybe you guys are attracting people that are not committal and that just kind of have flighty dighty type of demeanors about their self in regards to their wants and their needs in relationship and i think that you need to kind of address that and have that hard talk with yourself what is it that is about your morals and on your lack of morals or why you're attracting these type of people? Because like I said, you seen the Hierophant pop up. And you see, he didn't look like he was very pleased by whatever he found out about the situation. Like the moral police. You see what I'm saying? So it's like... I feel like you need to do some moral policing. Because I feel like... You accept a lot of people in your life that don't necessarily fit within your morals. You know, like you kind of just accept anything and you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and it says healing family issues in the reverse. 
there might have been some some trauma that happened to you when you were a child that I really do feel like you might need to get some counseling about and going to address as well. I really do. I really do. I didn't even do the twin flame messages. It's okay. Give me um clarity in regards to love spread. Thank you so much. I feel like I want to dig deeper in love because we spent so much time talking about that other thing. What is this? Okay, so this is the three of wands. Okay, so I feel like right now you are literally looking at a brand new slate, a brand new foundation in regards to love. Um, you guys are most definitely um, leaving some foundations behind. It's some old shit that is just rooted in the past and you're definitely leaving that shit rooted right there and you're grabbing your magic stick and you're moving forward into a new goddamn destiny. You're leaving that shit rooted right the fuck there. Look, they go the death card, ashes, the ashes, dust, dust. While you're skipping off in the sunshine and everything that's been illuminated to you, there are people that are being left behind mourning, you know, what was. You know, whatever it was that y'all had, whatever the situation it was, listen, while you were skipping off in the sunlight and you didn't slick and slide your way out of an environment I feel like maybe right after you leave, like, someone that you're really close to might die. You know what I'm saying? And, like, all your homies are sitting back. I feel like this Cap... The, the other Capricorn, whoever this one is. I feel like whoever this, this... The head honcho is. I feel like this person might get killed. I feel like that person might get killed. And it's like, why you skipping off in the sunlight? Because you it was already illuminated to you that this lifestyle of this, you dealing with this person wasn't going to leave you nowhere. Or maybe the other person that you were doing a liquid or something, that person gets killed or something. And like all of the homies are sitting there like mourning after this death or whatever. And I really do feel like you kind of got to wait right in the nick of time. Like you left that shit cemented back there. And as soon as you moved and you got the fuck away, boom, death hit you. You see what I'm saying? But if you wouldn't have rolled out when you did, death could have rolled up on both of y'all bitch asses. You see what I'm saying? But you missed it. You missed it. Thank God. Here you go. The temperance. Temperance card. You filled yourself up with faith. Okay? With hope. Nourishment. You know, I feel like... The environment that you were in, I feel like it was around a whole bunch of wolves, around a hunters and thieves and things like that. And I felt like you couldn't have, you couldn't be a good guy. You couldn't be no good guy. You live by the gun, die by the gun. You know what I'm saying? You live by the gun, you die by the gun. I really do feel like this was like some... What is up with me being like the hustlers tarot reader or something like that? Why well, I, I feel like a whole bunch like if you're a man, can you just put like a thumbs up or something in the comments or something? Because I've been getting a lot of readings. I just got a Scorpio reading that was just like this too. Where it's like it's a lot of I feel like that I'm getting a lot of male energy of people that be in the street life. And I don't know if someone has been forwarding my videos or something like, no, this is the shit, this is shit going on in the neighborhood. This bitch like I don't know. But I've been getting a lot of hood tales. I think that's what I'm about to do. I think I'm about to do a spread called Hood Tales on everything. Well, I'm about to just start doing like some Street Life Chronicle readings or some shit. Because I don't feel like I'm the hood tarot reader or some shit like that. Like, I'm about to be telling y'all about this hustling and shit. Right here. This is the, what is this, the Four of Wands? Yes. You moved off. You left this shit behind. And you see violence. You see how he got that yin and yang, that little, that little globe in his hand. You left that shit behind and you found violence. You in the sun. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I don't even think you give a fuck about whoever that was that died. Because you don't forgive these motherfuckers. You don't forgive these motherfuckers. For what they did. You know what I'm saying? Like they really. They did you dirty. 
they did you dirty. But if they wouldn't have did that shit, you wouldn't have found faith in just the honor of God. And I feel like God is really moving through you right now, Capricorn. Like, shit. And I feel like right now, like, some of y'all might be about to get married. You know what I'm saying? Like... You guys have committed your life to a brand new way of living. And, and I feel like you are celebrating right now. And if you're not celebrating, like you see, you're going to meet someone that's completely different than you. You know what I'm saying? Someone, you a little rough and rugged around the edge. And this one ain't as rough and rugged around the edge as you. But I think this person likes, likes that about you. And they understand you. I ain't see how you skipping off into the sun. It's a lot of sun, baby. It's a lot of sun. I really do want to say that this whole reading is... Oh, and then here go the full card. The full card. I feel like for someone that at one point didn't have faith. Faith is what saved you. Like, you literally following your intuition you seen that shooting star and you said it's time for me to go I'm out to follow that star and if you wouldn't have followed that star this could have been you this reading is called faith saved me faith saved me and this is the thing your homeboy sitting back mourning because someone died. Someone died. And you over there slipped off. You all in the sun. You followed your intuition. And you see your dog sitting back looking at you trying to figure out where you're going. Because remember, you gave zero fucks. You stop caring. You didn't forgive these motherfuckers. You put the whole crew on timeout. Y'all negative. Y'all toxic. Y'all lured me into this lifestyle. Y'all set me up because y'all felt what? No. Mm -mm. And now they go them dogs. Your dog looking at you like shit. I wish I would have motherfucker followed you or whatever. Shit, I just buried this motherfucker. And you don't even care. You don't give a fuck about that shit no more. You don't care about this shit no more. You were spared. Faith saved you. Your faith saved you. Your faith spared you. Alright? Mm, mm, mm. And then at the top of this deck right here, I just sat it down. This is the magician card. I feel like right now, you are manifesting new beginnings, but I don't feel like you really know how to manifest. What you're learning? You see that flower right there behind your back right there? You're learning. You're growing. And thank you for trusting yourself. Look, you went from zero, walking out on faith, trusting yourself, to number one. I love you, Capricorn. This has been y'all reading. Y'all some, y'all some, y'all some real, yeah. I fuck with y'all. Salute to all my Capricorns. If this video resonated, y'all hit that like button. If this, vi if y'all know somebody that's dealing with some type of street shit and they a Capricorn, or they're dealing with a Capricorn that y'all think might be this one, because there's two Capricorns in this reading. There's a Capricorn and there's somebody else in their energy that's a Capricorn. Or if y'all feel like, I really do feel like this is ever someone that you grew up with. Or this is that you grew up with and you knew in your childhood. Or this is someone that is a sibling or a family member that you need to watch out for. Okay? Because it's saying heal family issues. This is someone in your family and you do not forgive this person. You don't forgive this person. So watch out, you guys. I love y'all. Listen, your faith saved you. Thank God for faith. I love y'all. Peace.